Aloha everybody and welcome back to Ren Gaming. Right, this is going to be an unboxing and first look at the MSI Z87i Gaming, uh, the AC. This is the mini ATX board that uh, MSI have just released, the new one. Um, obviously being the game in one, um, it should be awesome. Um, quick look at the box. World's fastest Wi-Fi. Um, it's, this is the Intel board because, you know, I'm a bit of an Intel fan. Um, and we'll flip it over and I will read you off the back. It has the audio boost. Um, reward your ears with true quality. It's got the killer E220 uh, Ethernet to eliminate lag, although it does have built-in Wi-Fi as well. The Overclock Genie 4. Overclock in one second. Now, most people, myself included, would prefer to overclock manually rather than just pressing the button. Um, I remember the first time I ever did it on an i7-3770 uh, on with an Asus Sabertooth board and it put the voltage up so high it was ridiculous I managed to wind it right back down again and it was fine but do it yourself it always works better um, now Tiny Tom Logan on, on Overclock TV has done a decent um, benchmark of this board and he loves it um, really 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 impressed he's saying that you know he had a, a stable 4.9 on his i7-4 770 so you know I mean if uh, if a board this size can do it fantastic um, and then, so it's, this is the Intel, so it's uh, Intel Core 4th generation, um, which is LG1150. Uh, Z87 chipset, it's got a one-time PCI because it is a tiny board, there's uh, no room for anything else. Uh, Full-size display board, HDMI DVI. Um, it's got two DIMMs for your dual-channel dual memory. Uh, it's got five 6GB SATA and one eSATA 6. It's <coughs> RAID on there if you want it, 6 USB 3 and 4 USB 2 as we said it's got the killer uh, gigabyte ethernet, the Wi-Fi and 8 channel uh, audio so anyway let's get this open, bear with me <clears throat> ah, nothing on top of the board so before we look at the board we have to look at the goodies so we have <laughs> a door hanger, <laughs> excuse me I'm not here. <coughs> Sorry, I'm busy gaming. Yeah. Uh, quick installation guide. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Um, right, two CDs. Um, first one is Intel motherboards, and this one is LAN and Wi-Fi. Does make sense. User guide. Uh, two SATA. Uh, right angle to straights. The IO shield is ah that's nice it's uh, black and red which is different because normally they're just a horrible silver color ah, nice little case badge should you be um, you know into case badges I'm not particularly but that might look nice on a back plate somewhere on a on a um, on a card um, and the two aerials and the Wi-Fi installation guide it does have built-in Wi-Fi right so let's have a little look at this fella now I have got an ESD strap on my leg just in case any of you are wondering why I'm handling this board so let's have a look um, it is the game and you can see we've got the red and it has the dragon I'm not sure if that's picking that up the heat sink there is the dragon lovely we, we, we do like that um, 24 pin uh, this would be uh, USB 3 you've got your SATA connections at the top um, and then coming down Front front panel connections, USB, the eight pin. Now this is my only thing I wasn't too sure about with this with this board is, I mean, it, with standard ATX boards, you know, you you're 24 power, eight pin, everything's aligned along this side. But of course, with mini ATX, it's not as easy because there's no room to put anything. Um, so what a lot of MSI's competitors are doing is they are putting these here and they're moving these in, but. I'm pretty sure with a bit of sensible cable routing you can get your 8 pin down route it underneath the board so it won't be seen um, now this is for the Wi-Fi now again on uh, Tiny Tom's channel he was saying he would take this out um, I'm not sure if I'm going to um, but you know it, it is I mean look you, do you really want this not particularly I mean you could tidy it up but anyway um, yes so um, then we have the uh, PCI at the bottom and the audio boost next to it down here of course like I said earlier being a mini ITX board there is only one slot I mean someone will probably make one soon with two but you know anyway um, and then onto the back 
Um, standard connections, HDMI, DVI, uh, display port there as well. This is for the uh, aerials. USB 3, uh, standard plug your internet in, plug your internet in, and then all your uh, audio connections there. And even the old fashioned, just in case you are hunkering for an old fashioned mouse or keyboard or something, bosh, there you go. Um, loving the black PCB, I have to say. Um, and of course, this is made with military class components so there we go it's it's a lovely board i'm not getting the case till the 14th of february so i'm not going to be able to do the build yeah it's a bit of a piss off actually but anyway um thanks for watching guys i'm going to pop this away um keep a look out for a few others i've got a um uh i've got the h105 and i've got a uh, gtx 770 msi gaming card as well i'm just going to unbox all these and i'll stick them up on youtube so yeah like i say thanks for watching guys i'll see you all very very soon